Stand, stand clear of the closing doors, please. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. is available. The next and last stop is It's another episode, Subway Creatures. I'm your host, Rick McGuire, joined alongside Kim Congdon, Freddie B. Yes, sir. Hey. You guys are here. Just to start us off real quick, want to do a quick shout out to Thursday Boots and a company called It's From The Soul. Uh, yesterday had the privilege of going out with a bunch of guys to give out shoes to the homeless. It's an awesome organization called It's From The Soul. Uh, Thursday Boots donated a shit ton of shoes. I can't even, I don't even know how many, but it was a lot. So just a quick shout out to Thursday Boots and It's From The Soul. Uh, we had a lot of fun and it was for a good cause. Okay. Now into the episode, I want to introduce uh, Matt Lidwack. Yep. Did I say that right? You said it right, yes. Perfect. Uh, native New Yorker Certainly. and co-author of the book Beneath the Streets. This is actually, a, you were showing me this book before the show, and this book actually looks pretty it's fucking insane. awesome. It's crazy. Um, you want to kind of just sum up for the audience what, what this book is all about and how it kind of originated? Yeah, so I'm, like you said, I'm a native New Yorker, and um, maybe around 20 years ago, I began exploring the subway system. And uh, that led to my friend Journey and myself putting this book together over the course of a four and a half year period. So it's pretty much, it takes the reader through a journey through the subway system, uh, through the abandoned stations, shows all the old graffiti that exists underground, and um, it also presents the subway from a historical perspective. And I so. love that too. It's crazy because you you kind of forget that there are stations that are closed down that are like, mm -hmm. like, like the ghost Ghostbusters yeah, like and like ghost Ninja towns. Turtles. And like so. there's so much like shit in there. Really is. So can you maybe shed some light on that? Because you must have, speaking of shit, you must have mm. seen some shit <laughs> oh, yeah, certainly. going down there. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, there are probably around 10 or 12 abandoned stations in the subway system. Oh, that's And uh, yeah, there's not like so, so many of them, okay. but there's like, you know, like I said, 10 or 12 of them. And uh, they're spread out all throughout the system. And usually they would close a subway station if it just wasn't getting a lot of ridership. Right. So uh, I won't spill the beans on too many locations here, but there's one by uh, 14th Street on the 456 train. And that's... Uh, Excuse me, uh, after 14th Street, by 23rd Street, right. there's an abandoned station. And uh, that was just a, that was a station that wasn't serviced heavily. So they decided to close so, it. So I, I got a question. I heard that at the end of the 6th, the mm -hmm. last stop of the 6th yep. is Brooklyn Bridge, I think. Yep. And so if you stay on the 6th, you'll go through an abandoned station when, it, when the train comes back. Like, yeah, I, I read that. I, I actually, I've heard the exact same thing. Is there any truth? Wait, to that? say that yeah. again. I I just got confused. At the end of the six, you what? Yep. You if you stay on the train and once it leaves the station, it actually goes through an abandoned station and when it when it circles back around oh. to come back to go back up the line. Yeah, it goes through the abandoned uh, city hall station. That's actually the first station that um, was open to the public in 1904. Wow. So it's got uh, chandeliers and stained glass ceiling and whatnot. It's really crazy. But yeah, if you stay on that train and don't get off, it'll loop through a one track tunnel. And you can see that whole. And you've been in there. Uh, I've I've rode through there. I've never actually been in that particular station. Oh, okay. On my own two feet, but yeah. So you've seen that. And and it's a it's another. I, I always forget where it is. It's if you on the train. This is it's not a abandoned station, but it's somewhere mm. you see artwork. Oh, of course, it yeah. It's, it's in like, the book. Oh, that's in the book. Yeah, we could talk about that. I okay. mean, uh, that was put together in 1980 by an artist by the name of Bill Brand, and uh, he got a grant from um, some. Um, Something, something government grant to do this installation at the abandoned Myrtle Avenue station okay. between DeKalb and the bridge on the Q line. Okay. So we're taking the uh, train over the, the bridge. You can look out the right-hand side and you see it almost operates like a flip book. Yeah, it's like called, flip book yeah. You know what? Mm -hmm. Can you hold up a picture of that? Yeah, yeah I think let you me, have uh, it in the book, don't you? I got it somewhere in the book here. Hold on. We got some Because you were, showing, you were showing it to me earlier and I thought that that was, I mean, especially for the 1980s, what a genius idea. Yeah, yeah. The guy's a professor at a college in Massachusetts, but uh, well, you'd have to think that there's a lot of like math and a lot of yeah. logistics that go into this because not only is it just is this it right? Here? Yeah, this so is this it, is yeah. it right here. Yeah, Fred, do you want to hold that up for people? That's actually him doing the installation. That that photo. So not only not only yeah, hopefully we don't get a glare on that, but so Pretty for those of you listening at home, we're holding up a picture. It looks actually pretty simple. Yep. To be honest, right. it, it almost looks like a toddler did it. Oh, yeah, they pulled it up. They pulled it up. Okay, here we go. There you go. Um, so this is probably a picture from your book, I'm imagining. This is a picture, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But you were telling me that there's actually, like, railings 
that when you go by that separate it. Yeah, so it's, it, it's what gives it the effect that it's moving. Exactly. So it's, it's lit up and then there's uh, slits in the wall. And as it's going past the wall, um, the image changes ever so slightly. So it looks as if the image is moving. Is there any video of that online, you guys? Of someone? Yeah, uh, can you guys give it a, give it a look? Because uh, that actually would be pretty cool yeah, to the, see. My thing is, like, how do you go about getting a grant for this? Like, what do you like? What I do mean, you this say? was back like, in 1980. It was a different different time. You know, like, different I mean, world, even in 1980, you know? like when you go to government, hey, look, guys, look, look. So this is what I want to do. Great you bring idea. like fucking two copper pennies in and a chip, <laughs> a smoke a pipe in their face, and then you yeah, do it. It's like, yeah. It was a different time. Freddy. I got this new thing called crack. Nobody's really tried it, but you guys will love it, and I give you some. Oh, oh, right. oh, here it is. All right, this is actually. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, it's crazy. And you get the I've rocket chip. Yeah. Yeah, oh like, wow! Like, you you should have saw my face the first time I saw this on the train. Like mm -hmm. I, I damn near lost lost it on the train. The big grown ass Imagine man. Now is it is it <laughs> lit up? Oh yeah, it it's wasn't lit up. lit up for like a decade, and they just lit it up a few years ago. Wow, again. that's yeah, yeah. really cool. Wow, that actually <clears throat> I I can't believe it's basically like when I don't, you I know about this. when you do like one of those like sketch flip books. Yep, right. exactly. That's really cool. That's really cool. So tell me about and and I know one of your big things, and mm -hmm. I agree a hundred percent. You know, we don't want to advocate any any people running through the, the tunnels. I do. <laughs> if you think that's a good idea, then fucking get out. <laughs> Matt, Matt thought it was a good idea. I don't want to say that because he made, made a lot look. of money off the book that he put together. <laughs> I'm, it'd be my like I get on the train <laughs> right after the person who do that and they die. And it's like, oh, you were stuck in the station for two hours. Oh, like that man. dog that one time. No, I mean, it must be terrifying. I do. I do say that all the time. You know, if you're dumb enough to like ride on the back of the trains or on the top of the trains, mm. You know, you deserve whatever comes to you. Um, you know, I know, Matt, you did this uh, for the artistic side of it and the his historical and side the historical, of it. historical, yeah. Uh, which <laughs> is, is yeah. huge. But I don't, I don't think you can emphasize enough to Not people to how dangerous it is what you were oh, doing. Oh, yeah. I mean, people get hit by the subway train every day. I and mean, it just doesn't get widely reported every on Every day? Or every day or every, every, day, every, day no, or every other I day. Like. I mean, it's always happening. And maybe no. Gothamist or AM New York will write a little blurb. But it's not heavily, you know. Yeah, people, oh my yeah, people, God. Like, people probably do get hit by train every single day, B. So That's it's really, scary. it's really, and I mean, I got schooled when I was young. I got schooled by an older graffiti artist. He brought me to the tunnels. He put me on to everything. But it's a really dangerous environment. You know, I, I don't recommend this. And myself and the guy I put the book together with, we don't recommend this to anyone. So, so. so you, you have a subway tunnel excavational uh, mentor growing up. Yeah. When I was in high school, there was an older dude. He put me on to all this. So like, how, how do you, how do you, link up with that how, like how does that happen like well i mean uh my background is in graffiti from many years ago so right. you know graffiti is just a whole network of people that know one another it's even an international network on another level but um his background yeah. was graffiti the older dudes was molestation no no, no. he was one of the illest <laughs> graffiti writers in new york city <laughs> y'all met on yeah. dateline mm -hmm. but no right. uh this might be a really dumb question <laughs> but i do mean it honestly sure sure shoot you're Back in the day, you're doing, and not just you, a lot of people uh -huh. are risking their lives to, to do graffiti in aban like abandoned tunnels and mm. subway tunnels in general. What, do, what is it if no one can see it anyway? Well, I mean, like I was just saying, graffiti is a whole interconnected community. And yeah, that is a real, real good question. Um, it's for other graffiti artists. Okay. You know, other graffiti oh, okay. artists, kind of marking your territory in a way, or yeah. I mean, uh, and in addition to that, the graffiti down there is really ancient. There's graffiti that's 40, even 45, 50 years old. <laughs> Does the book touch upon that as well? Yeah, I mean, the book touches upon. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, no, uh, I used, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's just ancient graffiti from back in the day when people used to paint the trains in the tunnels. They would park the train in the tunnel, but then you'd take a tag on the wall. Someone would paint the wall really quickly. And that's still there. I was wondering. So, wow. I was actually wondering the same thing. Now that was a very good question. It's like, why are you marking up somewhere? Like, I'm in a subway. I see stuff. And I'm like, who is doing this and why? Yeah. But this is this is the community. The community yeah. talking to each other. Exactly. Graffiti is like a, a language, you know. So right. Uh, and and I mean, I guess it, it's it's kind of a tight knit community, but it also is a kind of territorial. And like, are there kind of like not literal wars but like is there like graffiti wars that like people are, are there like, like we graffiti like... roast where someone like graffiti's on top of your graffiti like sucks yeah uh... they, do, they do like a stussy over your, your <laughs> no, it really... wouldn't be it would be, have more complexities to it two people would actually have a real issue with one another and then they would start painting over their stuff it wouldn't just be like uh more civilian like this sucks you know be right. one person putting their name on top of another person's name oh, everyone shit. trying to just 
kind of jockey for position, and, yeah. and that could go on for quite some time. But thankfully, knock on wood, there's not too much in the tunnels, so the tunnel graffiti is really preserved. And that's cool. So, you know? so I, I got a question to piggyback off your question. When you see graffiti on like on the the sides of bridges, like uh-huh. way up, like. How, who, what, when, and where are y'all doing? I mean, this? I just have to leave that up to your imagination. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can't give away. Secrets I can't give away like all that. this. Okay, look, this know? is what I think. This is what I think. I think people are just hanging out and and you you know how to paint it upside down and you paint it upside down so right <laughs> side up, people look at it, know what it is. No, but I'm not. I'm not spilling the beans. I think they have selfie sticks. I'm not like, spilling like, the beans. Like for a spray can <laughs> and they graffiti just graffiti selfie sticks. They squeeze, pull a trigger. I mean, I, I'm sure you've seen uh, out through the gift shop or whatever in through the gift uh, shop. Exit through the exit through the gift shop. Um, how accurate of a depiction is that of the underworld? I mean, that's not really like a graffiti graffiti per se. That's, um, maybe more, you could say street art. Okay. Um, graffiti, the graffiti background that I come from is, you know, spray paint and, and lettering and whatnot. They're like the improv of graffiti and you guys are like the stand up. You could say that. Yeah. Yeah. Respect. Mm. Respect. I'm sure exactly. some people got that analogy. <laughs> Just mm. me and like four people in the studio. <laughs> no, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Get I get it. it. Yeah, right. that was good. I want to go back to, uh, you know, we were talking a little bit about the dangers. Um, mm-hmm. That has to be one hell of an adrenaline rush. Oh, yeah. Walking on the live tracks. Yeah, especially when I first got into it. You know, when you first get into it, it's like uh, there's, it, there's nothing that can compare to it in terms of the adrenaline and also in terms of the environment. Like, it's such a desolate place and it's also such a dangerous place. So it's it's like a really safe environment when the train isn't there. Right. And then when the train rumbles through or, you know, if you encounter, you know, homeless people or there's workers okay. coming, it can we'll be get to that because it I becomes this whole, talk about people. whole different environment, you know. So um I get anxiety when people lean over the platform mm-hmm. to look down the tracks to see if oh, the train's my coming. Boyfriend does that. It so means I can't yeah. imagine yeah. walking on even if they were inactive tracks, mm-hmm. I still, in the back of my head, would think, "Now there's a fucking train coming at any moment, and I'm screwed." Um, obviously, you kind of overcome that fear, or else you wouldn't be doing what you're doing. But what other kind of dangers are there down there? Not even just trains coming. Rats. Well, man, the rats are by the platforms because that's where the food is. There's oh, no, so there's no rats there? No, you never see a rat in the tunnels. Alligators. No, there's yeah, homeless people occasionally. There used to be a lot more. Like pre Giuliani, there were a lot more. They cracked down on that really? mid to late nineties and uh, the third rail. Well, you got to worry about the third I rail. You know, about the third I had rail. to, I had to teach him about, about the third mm-hmm. rail. I mean, Subway I feel like creatures? that's something. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. I moved here like a, a year ago. Oh, now. okay, okay. And so, yeah, I had no idea. But I'm like, that's the first thing they should tell you when you move here. Yeah, don't. To well, it's them. covered. It's got a wood covering on it. But yeah, you shouldn't go anywhere near that thing. Is it wood? I don't know why that would sometimes it's a plastic but either way you, know, you touch would. it you're done there's, yeah, there's yeah, no a, coming back from that it's a have done you deal, seen someone yeah. touch it by accident? no no wow. but you could stand on the wood that's on top of it no. yeah there is a there's a guard like a little yeah the cover have you yeah. stood on that wood yeah definitely when i was young yeah definitely holy shit man he said yeah definitely like you're supposed but, to do this yeah what if your <laughs> what? foot well no i think i think he means like or correct me if i'm wrong you sometimes you don't have a choice you don't have a choice if you want to go from the one side of the track to maybe get to a ledge or get, yeah, certainly to get up into the catwalk that runs along the track bed, you have no choice. If the third rail's there, you gotta step on the wood to pull yourself up to the catwalk. So, so you, I've you, always... You, you use it as a step, not to post up and stand. Not to hang out. I'm sure okay. there are there are those who do that, but, you know. Jesus so, Christ. So I always see this in the subways. Like, I see, like, I always imagine, like, if I fell into the tracks and there was a thing coming and I couldn't get out, could you stand in between oh, Okay, so yeah, so you ever see by? when there's the, the red and white paneling on the walls? Like, yeah. it's like... That's uh, yes. the workers, they call that the blood and bones. So that means there's no clearance. Oh, so if you're shit. there where there's a red and white stripes, you're it's done. A rat. You, yeah, it's a wrap. But no. if, there's, should take but if there is no red and white stripe, then there's some clearance. And then you have some wiggle room. Wait, where's the red and white stripes on the wall? Yeah, I'll pu- I mean, we should keep talking. I think I've seen it like, up like even in the station on the board. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. there's yeah. little cutouts. Have you seen the little I've cutouts? I've seen them on the side in the walls, the cutouts. Yeah. I mean, right there. So like right now he's showing her in, in the book. So if you're standing there, it's it's over. Lights out. Yeah, but you if not, God. yeah, wow. something like that. <laughs> but that's a that's a valid point because sometimes when you're in these tunnels, there's no retreat, right? There's there's no there's nowhere to go. If- no, no, no. Before you go in to do the photography or do whatever you got to do in there, I mean, you know where you're. If you're smart, you know the whole environment. You have the whole thing mapped out, laid out in your head. Where the clearance is, where the no clearance is. Yeah, but how you you Why have are, to know about where the clearance is yeah, to go yeah, in there. Yeah, Why yeah. aren't the trains made that if you laid not on the tracks, 
they go over you. Some of them you are. can some. Sometimes. There's like little some. dip areas. So there was some that people guy. Have gotten lucky before I bet. Well, there was. There Clint. was a story. Yep. There was a story about a guy who fell onto the tracks, mm -hmm. and another guy jumped on top of him, and like held him down yep. and laid on top, and the train went right over to him. I think Clinton gave him the Presidential Medal of Honor. Yeah. What? We gotta find him. We gotta find him and get him. This is or Bush back. This is back in the. Back in the we day, gotta find you know? him and get him on the show because it's a wild story. But yeah, why it's crazy. would he just jump on the tracks? There wasn't enough time, and he had to jump on top of this guy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know sense. if he had to, but it he, he, he couldn't get on the other little dip, like the next to it. It was maybe the guy had a seizure. I think uh, the guy had a seizure. That makes sense. That makes okay, sense. I'm about to yeah, say it's like yeah. I can get in this other dip. Or I can lay on top of you. Yeah, I'm about to lay on top of you. Well, imagine a guy having a seizure and you have to lay on top of him. Oh, That's crazy. God. Is that like what people you're, <laughs> they get you're, <laughs> you're basically getting humped while a train runs over. Right. You. It's like, oh, okay. This yeah. is it's an actual getting a train ran on you. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, yeah. yeah. Welcome to the show, Matt. Welcome, welcome. We're here. Buddy. We're here. Yeah. Um she just busted cherry. There we go. So yeah, so obviously uh the dangers are there. Now I think there's this huge myth, and it's not even necessarily a myth. Okay. But quote unquote mole people. The tunnel people, the people who live in the subway. You touched upon it briefly, and you did note that it was <clears throat> way more prevalent in the Giuliani days. Yeah, it was pre Giuliani. New Giuliani, maybe 97, 98, it's, it's they really Ed, started cleaning it, it up. Koch? Was that before Giuliani? Uh, Ed, no, no, he had Dinkins. Was, Dinkins was before him. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think yeah, Dinkins. Koch, Koch might be no, Koch, yeah, Koch is 80s. Okay, Koch okay, is 80s. Yeah. Um, have you run into any of them when you were down yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. And, and what's that interaction like? Uh, are they as surprised to see you as you are them? Yeah, there's not much communication. You know, it's just like keep it moving. Okay. If you bump into someone, but but years ago there were communities living down there. You know, in in cavernous places where the train didn't run off to the side, you'd have dozens of people living there. Now, not so much. Just a wow. just a one off guy, just kind of living. Well, this is in a different tunnel. This yeah. is in a tunnel that runs on the Amtrak by the West Side Highway. Okay. You're looking at right here? Oh, this is amazing. You could just see these random places. Oh, yeah, this is a tunnel. Um, you know, West Side Highway. You yeah, it is like, funny you know, how we pull up random pictures. You and just like, break it down. Well, you know. But this you is. Better, you never I, get lost on the train, do you? Uh, you just know no, where. No, I don't get lost. I don't get lost. No, if there was like a, if there was ever like a Cloverfield situation, he's definitely the guy to like. He'll he'll find. I know. I know where to hide a body. Yeah, how about that too? That too. Have you ever seen a body? Have you hit a no, body? there was a body down there in that tunnel for a while, oh, but really? but I didn't see it. Yeah. Oh man, I it was feel probably like a homeless you would run person. Into a body probably, down there. yeah. You, you I feel like you you smell it. it before you run into it. I'm assuming. Well, the rats will take care of that real quick. I said that's no rats, it. no rats though, in the tunnels. But that that's a different tunnel that you guys are just looking at. That's not MTA. That's no Amtrak. rats in the tunnels. Well, there yeah. was a documentary. The mole uh, people. I, I don't think it was called that. Though. Oh no, I'm sorry. Dark days. Dark days. Dark mole people is a book. Dark days. It was shot in black and white. And it was actually, it's a great documentary. Yeah, you got to see it. I, I really recommend anyone who's listening to watch it. But um, it's a guy who basically lives underground with these people uh, under the trains yep. or, or on the train tracks. Um, and it's it's crazy to think that they basically, like you said, they build this community mm -hmm. and they're all living down there together and everyone helps each other. Yep. They're stealing power. Oh, yeah. From electricity, the, from water. The, yeah. You know, they you have mean, everything. Um, televisions. Amazing. All tax free. All tax free. Yeah. Wow. I mean... I don't necessarily recommend it, but they definitely make do with what they have down there. Sounds like um, a nice community. It's like, you know, you are your brother's keeper. Mm, I think sorry. everyone, every other person's on heroin or crack. <laughs> that, there was this, Thanks for destroying my dream. Yeah, my brother's keeper is also every other person. at night. Every other person. <laughs> there did seem to be a little bit of that in the uh, documentary. <laughs> um, you know, so the people, they, it doesn't sound like they're much of a problem. But, no, not really. Uh, okay. Because, you know, like you mentioned alligators. Being in the subway, like that's that's a myth that yeah. you know the word got around that there were alligators in the subway or in the sewers. Actually, in the sewers, and people believe it. Yep. Um, same thing with the mole people. You know, they they think that there's this community of people who are just like like, like the hills have eyes. Yeah, like the hills have eyes. But it was thing. a thing. It was a thing. Just <laughs> it just they weren't it like the people in the hills have eyes movie. It, they weren't like I that. can't say I'm familiar with the movie. Is it a movie? I'm oh, terrible. Man. Pop that's culture. That's the first time I made out with a guy. It was during the hills have eyes. Really. It's a it's a scary movie. People in Vegas, they find people like in the in the caves. Oh and yeah, stuff. yeah. They come by like they like yep. incest. But that's real. From the nuclear plant. That's why. Oh, there's was, people was living in the drain tunnels okay. in Vegas right now. Yeah, there are. Oh okay. That's that's another one. Oh, that's another one. Okay. That's it's that's, that's oh, separate one. Blown. Look this one's out in like New Mexico. The one the Hills of Oz oh. is like New Mexico. Yeah. But Vegas Vegas is uh you're right. There's there's a community living yep. in the drain pipes because <laughs> they ran into a situation 
I mean, it was last year or two years ago, Vegas had that uh, unusual flooding and they were all living mm -hmm. in the drain pipes and a lot of them died because they drowned. Yeah, they just get flooded. They, they got flooded out and they, mm -hmm. they didn't have time to get out. Um, what a horrible way to die. Also, it's, yeah. it's so bad. But I think there's a... I, I, I don't know the name of it, but I think there's another documentary about that as well. Okay. And, you know, it's just, it's really interesting to see. You guys are some documentary, documentary oh, watching dude. bastards. Yeah. Netflix, whenever there's a new documentary out, I am all, on on, I'm all over it. You got to watch Abducted in Plain Sight. Oh, my God. That's, I heard about that. that. We could do an episode on that alone. I, mean, I heard about that. And, is um, Dark Days on Netflix? That's why. No, it's on YouTube. Okay. If you go on YouTube, you better. can watch the full even better, thing. Even better. Um, it's in black and white. I wish it were mm. because you're in a tunnel. So it's yeah. kind of hard to see some places. But uh, very for a guy who literally just walked down with a regular camera um, and gets to know these looks people. Looks like Blair Witch. He, it, honestly, real, yeah. it, it, in a way, it kind of looked mm -hmm. like Blair Witch. Um, but that tunnel is really spooky because the only light in there. Have is you from, been in that tunnel? Yeah, yeah, a bunch of times. The only light from that <laughs> tunnel is from the street, from the, the, the gratings in the street by Riverside Park. So that's Park. creepy as hell. So at night, I mean, I've never been there at nighttime, but nighttime you can't see your hand in front of your face. Can you, can you tell us where that one is? It runs all along the West Side Highway. Okay. Yeah. So what? Like probably He's Upper like West the Side. Illuminati of yeah, Upper West Side. The whole Upper trains. West Side. Okay. Go I, have, I know exactly. Like what you're talking you know what I'm talking about. You could see it. You could enter it. Like Riverside, Riverside Park along Riverside Park. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly. By that what basketball you're court. Yeah, I used to. I used to live up there, so I'm very oh, familiar with the okay. area. I know exactly what you're talking about. So, so I got a, I got a question about just yeah. to going back to the, to the graffiti world. Okay. Like you said, it's a community. Are there like revered people i mean i know it's revered people but like like what's the connection between like is it like mike mike in in london he's like the man and if like you is there you a banksy him, of the graffiti right yeah is there uh, like different people that are like crazy and that you love to meet of and, course and, i mean well there's people in graffiti that like i said it, graffiti is uh it could be very domestic you know it could be just based on the city mm -hmm. that you live in or you could be a part of the international graffiti community like, like how well known them. is the international like I mean, you could if you're part of that, you could travel anywhere in the world and stay with writers and 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 live at their house and that's really you know cool. get like a you know I just came back from Morocco with my girlfriend and we just got taken all around uh, Tangier, Morocco by these graffiti artists. Mm. They brought us all over the city to paint and whatnot and just see like the the side of the city that a tourist wouldn't see. Yeah. So yeah, there's a hierarchy within that, you know. Mm -hmm. That's right, sick. Right. That's how did y'all link up? Like how did you? I uh, just it, like with graffiti, it's always just one or two degrees of separation. So someone you know painted with someone they know at some point, and then right because there was people... there wasn't always social media. So yeah, way back in the day when you're doing this, it must have been a little bit harder. You're just leaving a graffiti trail to your house. <laughs> 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 harder to connect internationally, you know, back years right. ago. Yeah, right. Uh, but like you said, it sounds like it's a big world, but it's also a small world. Yeah, for sure, small community. Um, one actually, you know what? I want to go back to the history that yep. you were talking about. Um, is there any are there any historical landmarks or spots that you came across when you were in the tunnels? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, there's a place in the subway tunnels where I saw a graffiti that was by a worker from not too long ago, from 1919. 1919? So yeah. Graffiti? Is, that a, is there a picture? There's not a picture of that in the book, but, um, you know, the subway, they started building it, I think, in 1904. Uh, wow. So, so it was one of the first ones. Yeah, so this is a worker who was just there in some abandoned part of uh, a, t a tracks. Yeah, they haven't from... updated the subway since no, 1904. No, 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 it's it's a mess. That's a whole nother. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, a exactly. two-hour podcast. But, exactly, yeah. but that is yeah. now. I, I, I'm not to not to be a skeptic, but why mm. why can't someone else just have put 1919? Oh graffiti? no, this thing was from 1919. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's tell? my question. Like, how how do y'all? Because all the other workers had signed it with pencils below in 1964, 1938. Oh my God, that's yeah. so awesome. Yeah, it was really sick. It was a very hidden place, you know. Wow. W when did you see this? Uh, not too long ago. Did you take a picture with like, your phone? Or something? Uh, I have some stuff at IG home, story yeah. or something? Okay. That I was going to say, you know, that's that's something you probably want to keep with you, you know? Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. That's for you. You know, that's that sounds awesome. But I mean, uh, in terms of just historical places, I mean, as you mentioned before, there's the first subway station, the city hall station. Mm -hmm. You got all sorts of abandoned stations. There's places in the subway system you could walk like three or four stations worth of track without ever hitting, hitting the station that's above it. So you go into the tunnel, you go down the stairs, then you can walk uh, a level of track that is underneath the live track for miles. That's wild. So, yeah. so there's this track that is not used anymore. Exactly. Oh, disused tracks. That's that's crazy. Um, there's one other thing that I wanted to touch upon, not to get morbid, but there's also things um, just from the world that you've lived in. Yep. Uh, there's something called space cases. Yep. We were talking what? about that before. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
Can you and you know, we'll just touch upon this. We don't yeah. have to get too much into it. Um, oh, maybe, it, maybe, it depends on what this is. I don't maybe, know. What maybe maybe about. maybe it's an episode for uh, another day when I can get mm -hmm. an expert in here to to touch upon this. But why don't you set up for the audience what a space case is? So a space case most likely wouldn't happen in a tunnel. It would happen on the platform. And it's normally when someone can't get back up onto the platform because the platform can be deceptively high. It could right. be like, you know, six, seven feet up. And I don't think you, people realize that. How yeah, much of a drop? Maybe yeah. at five, six feet, but they can't pull themselves back up. The train, feet, yeah. the train's about to come back in and they don't know what to do. They panic, you know. So instead of maybe looking for clearance that they that they're unaware of, they try to pull themselves up until the last second. They get pinned between the train and the platform. But the pressure is so intense that their intestines and whatnot are kept intact until the train moves. Make sense? <laughs> yeah, and I, think, we, I think we talked about this last when the, the yeah. clamp between the trains well, and clamp okay. you. So when we had Chris from Brooklyn here uh, last right. episode, we did touch upon it, um, but we didn't really get into it. But it's like the movie Signs. Yes, exactly. With the car and the tree. Exactly. Oh, that happens in that yeah. the movie. And, and wife and, gets pinned, and then they she they pull she has to say goodbye, and then they same so, exact thing. Yeah. So you had a conversation with someone who just I guess I just got chatting with a transit cop one night, an old transit. They don't really have transit police anymore, but a retired transit cop, and he was telling me that yeah, they get pinned between. They're totally conscious. The priest will come. They'll give him a cigarette, you know, but eventually they have to pull the train away. And, uh, and they put the body bag underneath I'd be like, them. I'd be like extending it like weeks. Well, they don't, like, the people don't think they're going to die. Sandwich. They don't think they're going to die because they feel fine. You know, they're in shock probably and the their intestines are intact. Yeah, the adrenaline's pumping. And then they pull the train away and then they're just body, they fall into the body bag. Oh my God. Like immediately just done. Oh yeah, it's over. Yeah. One um, second. And this can also happen between the trains. Between the train cars, I don't. I think it's when it's the platform, the platform and the train. Between? Well, that's why you're not allowed to, you know, switch cars. While I the switch train's... cars. Well, you shouldn't. You, you can get. <laughs> a, you can become cars. a space case. I've been going to the tunnels my whole life. I don't switch cars. Really? You don't? No, no, no. Why not? I don't know. It just doesn't feel as safe. Well, to me, all right. Well, if the graffiti man that goes into deep I know, dark I'll tunnels, I'll never switch a car shouldn't. again. Listen, I, I think I'm think I'm done with that. Me I think too. I'm I mean, I do. I, I do it, but I don't make a habit of it. No, to, no, I don't make a habit listen, of it. But if all, like I feel weird about something going on in my track, I'll switch oh, okay. cars. We've all been guilty of it at least once, I think. But to go off of your point, mm. Matt, um, I, is it worth it? To, to have to do that and not just wait the two minutes till you're at the next, next station stop. to go around. Yeah. Like, after Matt I heard... answered that way too quickly. He was like, oh, I don't do that. Like, he answered yeah. way too quickly. I'll never like, do oh, it this again is the guy I mean, I do it. I do tracks. it, but I don't. That's what I'm I saying. Like, he walked the wire tracks in the tunnels and he answered he that He stepped fast. on the third rail. Right. I was like, you know what? I'm a. <laughs> Take some advice. Take it from me. He used the third rail as a fucking ladder, for Christ's sake. Matt said, don't go between the trains. Not gonna go That's all I need. Me too. Me that's too. all I need. I'll never do it again. And that story of space cases. Thanks, Matt. You yeah, know, it's terrible. It, it's it's yeah. terrible. And why is it called space case? Because they're in that space. They're in the space between yeah. the train and the platform. Oh my god! I'm assuming. How, I mean, how I did y'all? How did y'all start having this conversation? Oh, because when Chris was here, he brought it up, and he was like, "Make sure to ask Matt when you have him on about space cases." So I actually reached out to my contact at NYPD, and I was like, "Listen." I, I need some background on this. If you guys have someone who maybe we can call and get on the phone who can, you know, give us some information on this because that is fucked. It's so messed up, but it's so interesting. Rick said he reached out to his contact at the NYPD. So you, you the feds. Uh, yeah, Rick I have a contact. Okay. I have, Rick is I have contacts white. everywhere, dude. He'll fucking get us all killed right now. <laughs> right. Yeah, he, he's my dad. I reached out to my contact at the NYPD. <laughs> Do you know NYPD. who his father is? Yeah. Those are his words. <laughs> oh, God. He got a pair of Sperry's and some board shirts at home. Oh, Lord Jesus. Isn't that the universal dad? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. A pair of Sperry's, yeah. no socks, some board, sh board shirts, and a button-down shirt long sleeve. Right. I right. guarantee you Rick has a pair of chubbies. What are chubbies, though? I don't like know what chubbies are. <laughs> they're short. Yeah, I, I got a pair of those. Short shorts? <laughs> why, are they, why are they called chubbies? Mid thigh. Because your penis. Because I think it gives you a chub. <laughs> why would why would shorts give me a chub? <laughs> Look at his, did you see his face? <laughs> I caught his face. Please tell me you caught his face when he just did that. Yeah. Well, I. Oh, why would shorts give me a chub? Matt, I don't once know. Again, welcome, Maybe when I was like a teenager in high school, <laughs> first time, right? gym first class, time for like, Uh oh, they're rubbing the wrong way. I don't know. Uh, I never heard. I never heard of this. I, 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 I got a pair of chubbies. I just hadn't worn them. Must be a Puerto Rican thing. I don't know. It's very white, but I can see Freddie. <laughs> no, Freddie, Freddie, 
Freddie definitely wears socks with his sandals. And he wears socks on the beach. You definitely do. No, no I, I know wear, you do. I wear socks with slides, not with thong sandals. My slides, I wear socks. With I can't them. believe he, he wears thong does. sandals. I, no, I don't. I, but I, 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 you just I have, said you I, did. <sighs> Kim is just on the roll today. She's, she's hearing everything I'm saying. I'm quietly commentating on a podcast. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny throwing shit. out marvelous lines. <laughs> Well, Matt, I this this is this has been super interesting. I we haven't surprisingly had anyone who's been able to uh, attest to going through the tunnels like this before. So this is this is awesome. Oh no! So um, is, is all your graffiti in the tunnels or in the in the subway into tunnels or? I mean, I've been traveling the whole. I've been doing this my whole life, you know, traveling all over the world doing. Have this you been stuff. to Wynwood in, in Miami? I haven't that's been down there. A bunch of my friends have been down there to do okay. that, but it's is not, that a, is not that my a, cup of tea. You know? Is that a popular? Okay. It's where they have uh, they have a every year. What is it? Art Basel, yeah, Art, Art Basel, Art Basel. Basel like, 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 that's like the arts district of Miami. So they like oh. their like graffiti on walls is like encouraged. Yeah, so that's like the South by Southwest in the Miami area, like all the arts and shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> you sound like you don't like <laughs> South by Southwest, sir. No, it's just it's it's too mainstream. He's he's underground. Like he uh, is that, he's is on he's not. I mean. I have friends that go to that every year. You know, I'm not opposed to it, but it's just not it's just not my thing, you know? What what's what's your what's your swag? What's your like, nitty gritty, you know, like uh like I said, places like this or places, places where, you're not supposed to do graffiti. Well, places right? where the graffiti is just permanent, you know, places where the graffiti okay. is just gonna be untouched that. for, for yeah. decades, if not centuries. Oh yeah. You know, so I respect that. I feel that. Yeah. Because when will somebody probably is gonna Oh yeah. Wash it over and then all right, new artists. Exactly. Come. 2019, 2020, there's a new new set of people. So Yeah. Um was there anything kind of uh, like worthy of pointing out right now from the book that you wanted to mention? Um, I know you, you told me prior there was something mm -hmm. about someone writing a biography or something like that. Oh, yeah. So uh, when, we, when the dude I wrote the book with or put the book together with, he's a graffiti artist by the name of Journey. Okay. We did all the photography together. But uh, there's a graffiti artist. and we got a That's a crazy book. I'm looking That's at an that. amazing I'm looking book. So, illustration. There's a graffiti artist by the name of Revs. And I don't know if you want to hold that up, but uh, yeah, he did his autobiography in the subway tunnels. Oh, wow. That's great. So um, that's, and that's one of those things, hopefully that lives. Stands the test of time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That says 98. Yeah, that says. Wow. Uh, think about how long ago 98 was. I know, right? We're getting, it, getting it old. It doesn't even compute. doesn't make sense. Um, but that's, that's great. So Have you done anything like that? No, no, that's, you need to, man. No, that's very specific to that's him. Like you know, no, I'm not saying you knock him off, yeah. but is there anything where you can you can like kind of look back on and be like, that was my shit that yeah. I did back in '96, or you know, something like like a place not we exactly can go. that, but like that. Well, yeah, I mean, there's the original things that I, I mean, 20 years ago when I started painting in the tunnels, or because everyone's got tunnels. their hallmark thing, I guess you could yeah. call it. Yeah. What's your Mona Lisa? My Mona Lisa. You don't have to give that up. Yeah, if you I don't. Want. I don't know. I just I do. I feel just like have a lot of stuff. I'm telling you, this dude's up. Illuminati of graffiti artists. <laughs> yeah, there's just like a, the a lot of stuff going on. You know, <laughs> you fucking. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you threatened me with a knife before we oh, went in yeah. here. Right, he's like the guy like you're in graffiti. If you make if you make him mad, then all of a sudden you don't get any more spray cans. Like you can't do graffiti anywhere. Just air comes out of your can suddenly. Yeah, everything's defective. Just glitter, just glitter comes out. That's it. Like it doesn't stick to anything. Uh, but this has been this is really interesting stuff, um, right. and that's that's uh, really interesting. I graffiti is I didn't realize how interesting it was. Yeah. And honestly, it's a whole new perspective when you realize what's in these tunnels. Because again, how the hell would any of us know that any of this exists without without, know, book, yeah. without this book? And speaking of which, mm -hmm. uh, they I know they took this out of publication. You can still buy it probably on Amazon, right? Yeah, so the book sold out in a heartbeat, but then they never they never re-upped on it. They never did another printing. I feel like that's probably it makes these like a collector's item. I like yeah, that. so you can get it on Amazon, but it, it costs a pretty penny at this point. That's yeah, it. Yeah, if you only had one thing, one yeah. edition, you know, it's probably so like I, it's like Final Fantasy Seven. Right, it's like about about one of thirty. You know, it's yeah. like you, how many? Did, I think they made thirty three hundred copies. Sold oh, out. That's God. not even that many. It sold out really quickly, oh, and then they God. decided not to do another thirty-three hundred, and, and that was that. You know? Oh my that's God! Book is like Get the post-its off of that. Yeah. That's that's yeah. Yeah. that's gonna be worth a lot of money. I almost ripped it when I passed it back. <laughs> I, yeah, didn't I, tell I, me. I didn't want to pick it back up to even show people. I'm nervous. Man, that thing's gonna be worth some money. Yeah, yeah, it's worth a couple hundred bucks. So look, I, I want to also. I was thinking about this. I want to kind of dig into your creative process. Okay. So before you go out and you do a piece, he's probably not okay. gonna answer this. By the way. 
don't worry, you know, it's worth a try. Before you go out and do a piece and like what's what's the structure that goes into it? Like do you decide where you're gonna do a piece first and then decide the piece you're gonna do, or do you decide the piece you're gonna do and then figure out where That's you're That's a really do good it? question, actually. Yeah. Usually for me the, the location dictates what I paint. Mm -hmm. So I find a place that I think is a really cool place to paint, and then on paper or whatever, I sketch up something that works with that environment. Oh, cool. So that actually, yeah. On the spot, or do you have no, to no, come no. back and plan it? No, no, at, at, at my at my house, I'll, I'll draw something up on paper that works with the location that I've planned to paint. That's really cool. So question, so the place that you found to paint, you go and sketch it up. Has there ever been a time where you plan to do, like how long does it take to sketch up something from when you see it, like I wanna paint there to then when you actually paint? What's that time period? It depends when I get around to going back to the spot to actually paint it, you know? Okay, so with so, that being said, have you ever done that and then somebody else tagged like a little bit? There and then and, I couldn't go where I wanted to go? And it's like, oh, dang, like there's a tag. No, because the places I'm going are so hidden, He's you know? He's discreet as fuck, okay. yeah. They're so, they're not even on the train tracks that you can ride the trains through. They're just in totally... God damn. Hidden, abandoned places. There's just a little bit of old graffiti. I think what he's trying to say is where he goes, not other many other people go. So clearly, so, yeah. So, but so these places that are so hidden, you've been there already before. Yeah. What? Yes. What? No, I'm sorry, but I'm making that's not a question. Or I'll study the track <laughs> maps, the old blueprints to know that there's that, okay, there is something here, you know. And then you, and then I you can't give all my secrets away on Subway Creatures. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> He's trying to help yeah, you right I'm now. Aware, you I'm aware up. of a location you're that, aware, that there's almost no graffiti, and then you figure something out at home on paper that's going to so, work. So a lot of these crazy places you go, you've been at least twice. You go once, and you In many, scout it, and you many, there. Many times, and, yeah. Okay. That's... I mean, because I'm thinking about you said the one place was only great sh light shining through. These places sound scary. Basically, these places sound like places I wouldn't even go one time. Yeah. So I'm yeah. just surprised that you're able to go multiple times. I don't even want to be in the subway to travel. Right. <laughs> I mean, I hate I hate the subway. I would really I've got to the a boiling point yeah. with it in terms of the how delayed the trains always oh. are now. It makes sense. Yeah. It's, it's also like your workplace. It's kind of like you know, mm. like if you work somewhere, do you want to keep going back? Yeah. There? Yeah. You're you you do not want to hang out at the bar that you work at. Exactly. Yeah, you work yeah. at McDonald's. Somebody like, oh, I'm gonna pick up some McDonald's. Like, no, like, no, thank you. I don't want to eat that. Right. I don't want to. All right, man. Well, this has been real. I hope. Well, thank can, you, you. can you stick around? Yeah, definitely. Let's yeah, all right, cool. Because we're just we're gonna we're gonna move right along. <clears throat> cool. Um, guys, there was a uh, subway announcement on the train that was unusual. Uh, guys, if you could play that real quick, we'll just play the audio and then we can get into it. Once again, passengers, extra time is allowed for you to move to a different car. The car 67 14 will be taken out of service. That car has defecation in it. Please move to a different car. We thank you for your cooperation at this time. So, <laughs> Freddie's losing it right now because they said poop. Freddie loves poop. <laughs> um, so, for those of you who couldn't understand it, once again, passengers, at this time, I would advise you to move to a different car. Car 67 14 will be taken out of service. That car has defecation in it. Please move to another car. <laughs> Rick, did you make our producers transcribe that? I actually did. <laughs> I, had, I had some time today, and I'm like, it was a little muffled. So I was like, Let's make I, don't this know clear. Every, I don't know if everyone's going to be able to understand this. I want them to hear defecation. Uh, yeah, well, that was, that was the goal in this whole thing. Um, not that it's that wild, because I feel like we've all been on that car before mm -hmm. but to absolutely shut down like you, you got to think of how bad this is that they're shutting oh, down probably so bad. taking it out of at a it service. has to be like explosive diarrhea right. <laughs> well it's like it's not it like, has a to be like a health hazard the funniest part okay this is this is just a testament to ah. how big the account is i don't i i didn't i didn't bring pictures but i can't tell you how many people were sending me pictures of this shit no. of this specific no. this specific why shit. didn't you bring no the pun pic intended why they don't had, you have the picture they had why don't you have the picture because I want this to be able to live on YouTube, and I don't know. We can. Can we put shit on YouTube? I don't think so. We're, we're good with that? shit. Can well, you send them the picture? Send them. I, the I, picture. I don't have time to go through it yes, right now. Yes, you had know there what were, these pictures are. This look like honestly, there were so many different angles. You didn't screenshot one. <laughs> there were so many different angles that it looked Just like uh, a crime scene when they take the pictures of the crime scene and they have like every angle don't of the shit. Don't even talk about it. People, Why would you bring it up? Well, how about, have the picture and well, not put it up. It's just so funny that, him, huh? you know, no. everyone, me, everyone me, was me like, Matt over here like, uh, everyone's yeah, taking, I'm, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine with not posing. That's not when posing. you walk through the subway, Fuckin'. that's when you can walk to the next car. Oh, hell yeah. That's when, yeah. That's when you, that's when you risk it <laughs> all. You know you what, risk producers, can you Google a room full of shit for me and pull it up? Oh God, please don't. Please don't. 
Um, Kim is alone. But that's obviously that's what people they're taking pictures of this and they're like, yeah, I'm gonna send it to Subway Creatures because what else am I gonna do with it? So I'm now sitting there getting about five different angles of oh, shit on the subway. And I wonder what it looked like. You can't pay me enough. I know I say this a lot. You can't pay me enough to be the guy who has to go in to clean the shit out of the subway. You yeah. know, because you know, I know your eyes are just burned. Like the stuff people see you in the subway. Just well, well, I, could you imagine the people that I had to experience while it was happening? Like there was uh, probably someone in the car in the moment. Well, I we were. Just I bet talking, it was being flung. We were just talking about space cases, and uh, coincidentally, uh, I talked to Matt on the phone this week, and he was like filling me in on like what space cases were, and you know we were talk- going through it. Somehow the next day, someone coincidentally sends me a video of a space case. No. Obviously, I'm Speaking not going to show it. I, tr- I tried to show it to Matt. Matt goes, dude, I don't want to yeah, fucking look at that. Yeah, I don't need to see that. that. He goes, I don't need to see that <laughs> like shit. Like face of the death type stuff. Yo, and, and so, so just going off of what you were just saying about your eyes must be burning out of the shit that people send you. It is like, obviously, I don't know what it is until I open it. And at that point, it's too late. I mean, it is. It's bad. You're getting shit. Space cases, uh, you know, people jumping in front of trains. People send you this that. All people send me this. Oh, that's hundred up. times better. It's this all sounds like everything we need I am to be putting so on here desen- weekly. I am so desensitized <laughs> to everything. It's it's fucked. Bruh, you need to have Kim and just just have all the videos go to her. If you pull up a dude in a fucking thong in front of me ever again and not a space case, I'm gonna be highly disappointed. Oh god, Kim is not pleased. She hearing all these all these videos you're getting and she wants them all. Send them to her. You know what? You you better be careful what you wish for. I am going to forward you now. In fact, when this show's over, you know what? I'm gonna do it during the show. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to send you no. a space case. Oh, no, I don't want the no, space you're getting case. A space I was just case saying now. that. You're too close to me. I don't want to see that in my peripheral. Uh, you get that. You're getting a space case. I don't want that in my spirit at all. Oh, I'm sending your ass shit. a space case. How, How many space Matt? case videos I don't videos see it, right? That was the first one, and that's why it was so weird because... Because you were just talking we about it. We just talked about it. You it's spoke like it you, into existence, yeah. but that's what happened. You speak it out. You know what? It's one of those things where, like, you're having a conversation talking about, like, Pepsi and all of a sudden, Pepsi shows up on your Facebook no. ads. It's like yeah. the, the that, world that is like shit. the cookies on your computer. You go look something up, and then you on Instagram a sponsor. Post. No, but I'm just talking about talking about it. Exactly. Like, I'm just talking about the it. It's spooky when that happens. The it's universe like, oh, weird. like that. Rick it's needs weird. a video of some girl dying. Let's kill her. And I don't need it. It but just, that's what happened. You, said you need the word. it. You apparently need it. No, I don't. You're asking universe. for it, and you're going to get it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you sick bitch. You sick bastard. Um, you speak it out to the universe. You'd be like, oh, really? Yeah, oh, careful, space case. careful what you wish for. I don't, I'm not even saying the word anymore. Good. Good. We'll, we'll make it something else. It'll be some kind of sexual reference. Yeah. Billion dollars and an NBA team. That's what I want. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I'm speaking of that. Did you guys hear about the story about the guy winning the uh, winning the lottery? And he speaking of which, in Brooklyn, up, he showed up wearing a scream mask and like gloves because he didn't want to be identified. Oh. Yeah. And that's what he came up with. Oh my god, look at this shit. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's smart. It's so smart. Oh, this is in Jamaica. This is in I'm, Jamaica. Yeah, this is in Jamaica. So so old. I, Not I, Jamaica Queens. No Jamaica. Kingston, Jamaica. Because I, I found Jamaica, out why I did Jamaica. that. Jamaica. What? Do that again? Jamaica, Jamaica. <laughs> oh, God, this is Rick McGuire. <laughs> that. I did not do that term. But no, look, I found out why they why they Dude. do that. Because in Jamaica, you have to show up. But in Jamaica, it, like I think it's like 60, 70 percent of the people who win the lottery get robbed. Well, because immediately after. But yeah. All right. I don't know where this actually took place, but um. You know, there are obviously very dangerous neighborhoods in Jamaica. And if you show your face and you just won a million dollars in the lottery, yeah, they're coming for you. So I mean, cause you also understand Jamaica is an island, so it's like No, are we super talking about small. Jamaica, New York? No, we're talking no, about no, not, not Queens. No, no. Not Jamaica, don't make Queens, me do so it again. Like, um, <laughs> but his name is there. <laughs> and that's just A Camp. No, so right. that's I think that, that was like a fake name that he oh, went really? with. Oh really? Um and and that's whatever uh, whatever their currency is down there, mm-hmm. it, it's equivalent to one point two million dollars. Wow! But how about the how about the rule that you have to show up to claim the check? Why? And so Why? I don't blame this guy at all for wearing gloves and a mask. My thing is, how do we know that that's the guy? <laughs> he might have just shown up <laughs> wearing a mask. <laughs> well, because I, the people that ID. work, yeah. I mean, it's before the cameras got there. I'm sure there's some sort of privacy. You'd like to think if so. it starts a trend. Of more people doing this. No, but, no. It, but there it, it are, does. Everybody there, does. There are oh, okay. places in America where it's the exact same situation. You oh, have yeah, to you show have up. have to show your face. And what a fucked up rule. Like, you're announcing to the world that you just won. I mean, this was a 1.2 million. Usually our lotteries are like a lot bigger. Massive, yeah. Um, 
you know, I, I still think someone hasn't claimed that huge one that that someone uh, won in Brooklyn a crazy amount. Was it the, what? Did in, they come in forward? In East New York, he claimed it by a oh, gas so he station. did claim. Yeah, it. yeah. He's about the one that was like the lump sum was like five hundred million. Yeah. There was one like that that I thought the guy was running out of time, and like still at that point, no one had claimed it. But maybe that was the that one. was I'm it. Not sure. I mean, if you read um, articles, they, they they so they they say if you win that much money, you should wait all the way to the end of the. You know, you should hire a lawyer. You should Financial absolutely planner. put a mask on. One time I <laughs> one time I played the Powerball when it was like I think it was like one of the highest it had ever ever been. Right. And it was like I don't even it was like close to a billion dollars or something at one point. Is that yeah. am I right I about that? I think it went that? over a billion. Yeah. yeah. And it was the one time I played and there was three winners for that one that split it and two of them lived 20 minutes away from me. One That's right. in the in the town that I was in lived in in Florida, oh. 20 minutes away from that and one in the town I lived in in LA, 20 minutes. And I was like, oh, what are the weird. chances yeah. that it was both the tickets were both close to me and my family? That's sign you should have played the game. next lottery. Yeah, I, was about I to know. Say. Yeah. You should play the next one. But that's crazy. Out of all the towns in the United States. That is weird. Two out of 3 of them were very close to me. Especially that you you're in Hollywood, right? Yeah. Hollywood, Florida. Uh, yeah, very close to the Hollywood, Florida, and Hollywood, and California. Hollywood, California. Yeah. Wow, that's setup. weird. That's weird, right? Yeah. I was like, that's super strange. I was like, told my family they didn't seem to care because I didn't win. But <laughs> you didn't win. Yeah. I was like, that's weird, right? Yeah. Twenty minutes away. I could have just driven twenty minutes away and grabbed a ticket both times. That was like within my universe. I mean, I, I guess so, but there's always the six degrees, you know. Like, yeah. Somehow I could have made a connection to that as well. I feel like if I really wanted to. But don't do that to yourself because you're going to beat yourself up for no reason. I know. Um, so here's a funny thing. Um, a woman sent in uh, a video. And this is like a kind of a pet peeve of mine. But this is like the subway etiquette that uh, someone broke. So have you ever been on a train where someone's leaning against the pole? Yeah, I just of course. And, put my and hand. And it's like a crowded train and they lean across. So what do you do? I usually put my hand there. And then I go, excuse me. Do you like kind of give them like a little jab? Yeah. I See, like, so she sent this in. She goes, why do people think that they can lean like this against their backs against the whole thing? And it's like subway etiquette, you know? Right. So someone else took this into their own hands to um, figure out some kind of solution for this. Okay. I guess they coincidentally had zip ties on them and they zip tied oh, the person's snap. bag to the pole. That's funny. Dude, look at this. That's funny. Can you imagine going to get off the train and your bag is zip tied to the pole? That is funny. That is very funny. That is like... That's hilarious. I don't know how you do it without the person knowing. But Zap your dummy. It's easy. Just bzz. they, they are in. You just put it in. And you just like if you look, the, the zip tie also, isn't tight. Is that the same it's person just, from the last picture? No, it's not. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. But that was an example of someone leaning, and then an example of someone doing this. Um, I mean, that is, I mean, I, I like. I feel like to notice that you have to be an even shittier person because then you can feel someone's hands trying to be on the pole and you're not moving. Oh, absolutely. So you have. That's to be why I asked shitty. you how you deal with it. Because I just tap him like, hey, my man, my man, excuse me, sweetheart, excuse me. Can I can I grab this? Thank you. Yeah, I just I grab it and I go, sorry, gotta, I'm going to fall. You don't put your fingers in there and wiggle them yeah, a little I bit? Do. Just... Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's literally Did you read about what just happened on the Q train the other week, though? What? There was a homeless guy jerking off and he rubbed it all over the <laughs> Oh, yeah, that sure thing. That, all that was a couple weeks ago. So, yeah. but I don't grab that thing. I, don't, I try not to, that, but yeah. sometimes. So I try not to sit and I try not to touch anything. Yeah, for I try the, not for reasons to sit, like that yeah. alone. I sit, but I sit on sit the very there? edge. I don't sit back. It's getting so grimy on the newer trains, the 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 blue seats. Yeah, they're getting so grimy. I can't bring myself to sit on those. Well, things. I sit again, on the edge. Is that even ever helpful at all? I sit like on the very psychologically edge. maybe. Well, this. well, all right. <laughs> like right. When, when in the summer when your legs are exposed and you sit uh, on the, I don't put my thigh on it. Okay, Matt. No. What do, what do you mean it's getting so grimy though? You had like you got stuff going on in your mind. Can we get those thoughts, please, sir? Well, I mean, do you ever take a good look at it? They're getting like there's just so much junk just built up on the Matt, seat. I'll back you up right here. They don't clean those again. Things, not you know? to beat a dead horse, the shit that I get sent to me, uh -huh. literally and figuratively, it's you'd understand why I don't sit down or touch anything yeah. on the train. Like your story is probably an extreme, mm -hmm. and that's probably the worst that I heard, but. There are like, you don't ever sit in the corners of the trains because that's where everyone pisses. Like there are certain things that you know, mm. just, and, and really? stuff that I see. Yeah. You see some stuff. Next yeah. level shit. Yeah. People piss in the corners. Oh yeah. Don't ever sit in the corners. Don't what? sit in the corners of the trains. I always you sit You mean in the corners sit in it? Themselves. Actually squat on the floor or? No, no, no. I mean like in a, you know how the seats in the corners? Yes, oh I always yeah. sit in those. Don't ever sit in those seats. Those are where everyone pisses. I'm now telling you, you. Now you know. Now you know. What? 
Don't ever sit in those corner seats. People stand up and just piss on the seat? Or Yeah, and it's like the corner of the train, so it makes sense in their mind that you're in their right mind. There. Yeah. That's where all the bad shit goes down, I bet, too. Jerking off, everything. everything. Oh, my God. Well, then there's, just, there's a seat that comes down. The little seat that comes down, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just a petri the best dish. Seat, right? No, no seat is a good seat. That's what we're that's, learning That's now. what I'm trying to say, but... I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> Matt was like, Fred, no seat is a good seat, sir. Like, quit trying to finagle me. So I can't sit down. I can't rest my bones. All right, guys. Let's jump into the clip of the week here. Next stop, Subway Creatures. Clip of the week. Week, week, week. Now, my apologies... I missed this one. I don't know how we didn't talk about it. I think we had a little bit of a layoff doing episodes, but we skipped over it, and I think it needs attention. Uh, this is the Trump person wearing the Trump mask, pushing the baby stroller. This is creepy as shit. That, that's, that, that's that girl that be all, always in the yep. subway. I like her outfit. I'm not going to lie. I a lot of people that. did. A lot of people liked her outfit. Yeah. No hard. one is paying any attention. No one is paying attention to her. But the audio is so scary. What is it saying? Oh my god. Like it, it gives the girl the in the red is so New York. That's oh, like hold Beetlejuice. On, wait. <laughs> did, did you see the stroller roll back and hit somebody yeah. in their leg yeah. and they didn't kick it? I would put it in this. Like, no, Matt, it. Matt brought up a point that we bring up every week. No Boom. one is watching. No one's paying any attention to this. And this she is... Grabs it. Look what she does. She grabs it's it, bang, and hits him with it. Look at this. You know what it is? It's because when people want that much attention, it's almost like <laughs> you don't want to give it to them. Right. Very it's true. like you're trying too hard to get my attention. Right. I'm not even going to look at you because then you're gonna, I'm going to be the only person looking at you. You're going to direct all this shit towards mm -hmm. me. So then I guess I know your answer for this, but should we get them on the show? Yes. Because I, I yeah. can contact them. Yeah. I, I yeah. Know. Oh, you, oh, you know who they are. Well, crazy. someone someone tagged who they were, and I went on the Instagram account, and the whole account is them, like, dressed in this Trump Doing mask. that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I, I feel like I got a million questions. Mm. I'm just worried because I don't know. Roasting. Who's behind the mask? I don't know how stable that person is. Yeah. So Because is it political? It's, 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 a, it's a woman. I've it is a before. woman. It's a woman. Everyone okay. thinks it's a man. It's, it's a woman. She does it all the time, so she's stable. This is what Kim just said. Attention. It's like going viral. People like mm. going, you know. Yeah. People like going I'm a viral. Comic, now. I get it. You know what I mean? But that's attention. that's honestly that is art. But I'm gonna have big fun because they're not getting any clout out of it. They're not. They're yeah. not showing their and face. And no donations. Doesn't look like there's no donations. Money, right? So that you know that's yeah they they want attention, but they're not. No one knows who they are. It's not like kind of like the lottery guy. There you go. Yeah. No, I don't. We don't know who that guy yeah. is, but we we're talking about him. What yeah. if it's that guy? <laughs> it's just a lottery guy having fun with his money. That's a creepy video though. But that that was that got a lot of attention. People were like, that is next level yeah, shit right home. there. Bring the audio was fucked up. It was like a woman being abused. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's why it gave me the chills. I was like, no, mama, no, mama. I was and like, the mom what was like, the get this whooping. I was like, whoa, bitch. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I was like, that's Some rosemary baby. Send that to your yeah, therapist, creepy. not the train. Creepy stuff. Uh, do you guys want to see the video you haven't seen yet? Oh yeah, the unseen yeah. video of the week. Oh yeah, this one. This oh, one's all about audio. This one's all about audio. So okay. guys, make sure the audio is up on this one. Oh my god. I bet you I will. I'll suck that dick meaner than ever this bitch ever could have a whole stupid ass retarded and geek ass life. She'll beat. She'll fucking geek ass hoe. I'm 40 years old. Sit that dick out. Let me suck you for this whole train. Is that his girl? I'm going suck that shit like you had your dick sucking your whole life. If that was my boyfriend and she was on her knees about to suck his dick, I'd just kick her in the head. I swear to God. Don't fuck with me. Oh my God. All right. Whoa. That that's a first. I haven't seen that one. Before. Was that his girlfriend? I don't know. I don't know the situation here, other than it seemed like she wanted a penis in her mouth very bad, but she. Yeah. That that did you see scary. the guy's face though? He was terrified. And, yeah, and he was hard. So. I would be too. He, he, I, would, I wouldn't dare let an Elegante something. in the mouth like that. Wouldn't dare do it. I, she find a way to bite through it. Take listen, a minute, but she bite through it. That that chick, 
you don't want to go near. Yeah, that you don't want to. You don't want. You don't want to go near. No, that mouth. she will fucking. She's gonna pull a knife out and cut your dick off. That no, like, she's gonna bite. She's gonna bite her shit off. I mean, if she's just sucking dick on the train like that, you know, just announcing it to the whole car. And again, very aggressive. Again, Matt. No one other than the cameraman really paying attention. Yeah, I guess there's someone kind in the background. New York, you know. But um, she's I'll aggressively trying to suck it. Suck it. How, yeah, how about how about the cameraman getting different angles? Right. Starts moving over to get the angle of the guy's reaction, and then she starts roasting the girl. I know. Well, it was so ridiculous that you have to imagine these people are probably like, I'm not even like I'm not even going to deal with this. Yeah. Let's just let her go. Just yeah. let her go. She was just, the girl was just laughing. Well, that's the thing. It's like, it's like what can you do? I think, this I think girl's just trying. To it's do. one of the things where well, no, nobody's going to pay attention until you heard like. If you heard David, hold on, wait, oh, wait, I think she, he's sucking the dick. I think she really doing it. He, oh, I thought she was playing, but she really doing it. I, I, think, I think the guy was contemplating. He's like, he's like. I think so too. I think, I think he was shook. It. I think he's pretty shook. He was scared, he was scared but he was also girl like, right there. can we? Can we just take this off the train and I mean, see I mean, how dude, much though. you really? Any dude, the girl, I'm sucking that dick. He was like, you crazy. <laughs> I wonder what yeah, led up. That's that, what I'm though. saying. He had that face. I mean, he really, he scared me, but he really go. Because he, he even he said it. Because he even look at, look, at, look at his face, guys. Zoom in on his face right <laughs> all there. Right, all right, all right. It looks like Freddy. He's it looks like Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Sinbad. He goes Sinbad. It looks like Sinbad. Looks like Sinbad and Freddy. <laughs> what Michael Jordan, Sinbad and Freddy? <laughs> oh, can we zoom on that face at all or no? Does it not? It not it won't like he, let you but, zoom? but he but, actually he actually has that face like. Well, he scared, also but. says he's thinking about he it. Says, yeah, he's thinking about it. Yeah. He says you won't do it, and she's like, "Yes, I will." And that's like when you're like, <laughs> "No, he's like, you won't, you won't." Yeah, he said it. I think he's looking at his girl like, right, right. But she you won't, won't go. Watch. She won't suck it. it. She she won't. Won't. He's looking at his girl yeah. like she won't punch you and she suck won't. it. She won't. You ain't gonna do it. Look, babe, I'm just gonna take it out. You, 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 you hear the zipper go down. There's a zoom in. Look at his face. He wants it. Yeah, there's one one woman looking. Yeah, this there's one in the like, back. She's gonna suck the dick, oh, and she's like man. in front of all these people. I don't give a fuck. No, she's she looking. She's she trying to get pointers. The lady in the back. She's like, she she really. Grandma's how she's sucking. Make sure I'm sucking. Can we watch right. the video again? It's just worthy of watching twice. I think. <laughs> it's all about the audio. Yeah, let's. Hear you guys it. ever try to guess where these things are in the city? Know. What line? This is the A. Yeah, it's a the A. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's sucking. It's sucking dick right now from everybody. Where's that dick at though? Oh my god. I bet you I will. I'll suck that dick meaner than ever this bitch ever could in her whole stupid ass and try to get gig ass life. She'll beat her. She'll beat fuck me. Get ass life. Get ass life. Get ass life. I'm 40 years old. Sit that dick out. 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 I like world star. Don't fuck with me. I will suck the fuck out there. <laughs> Have you ever threatened someone by sucking their by attempting no, to suck I mean, their dick? I've never even thought of that tactic. That's that is such a bizarre. <laughs> this girl's like, trying to survive. Intimidation. I don't know what factor, she's doing, yeah. but she's trying to survive out here. Oh my but god! See, like, the don't ever fuck me... with me, or I'll suck your dick. <laughs> The what the she, fuck? She, she bent down. At first, I was like, she not serious. Unless, unless she get down. And, and that's she when, said, put it in my mouth. And right when I had that thought, like, she got down. I'm like, oh. oh. Can you imagine if all of a sudden she was just like. Oh, 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 oh. Everyone on the, the train's like, what the fuck? Then she did what? Oh, my God. <laughs> then they, that's then like they, my family was going to watch this episode. Now, not so much. Now they're not. Now, not so much. Uh, I, I, tell them, tell them to yeah. stop after your interview. Forty-five minute. Yeah, yeah. There's, you know. there's, yeah. Tell them, tell them if they hit the. Oh, 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 they went too far. <laughs> you guys are so dumb. I'm done. <laughs> no, I just love Matt. So Matt was cool and did that. He was like, "Oh god, okay, all right." I know. <laughs> interview over. Yeah, I but no, but no, but she, but she, and she was like, I suck it better than everybody who's ever sucked it. That's what really got him. Because then you start thinking, like, damn, he's okay. like, wow, he's All thinking back. All the blowjobs I've gotten, oh, that yeah. was, oh, that time. She yeah, you know, he, he got a little hard. He got a little hard. Right oh, yeah, I got a little hard. I was like, <laughs> let her suck your dick. Yeah. Let's see. I was like, let him. <laughs> I want to see what was gonna happen. Damn. Oh, All right, right, man. This is the part of the show I okay. want to give you to. Shout out whatever you got going on. Shameless plugging. All right. Uh, what do you got? Where can we... F well, you kind of touched upon your book, but why don't you uh, refresh well, it? Well, all right. So the book is Beneath the Streets, but it's sold out. But you can get it on Amazon, you know, if you want to shell out two, $300. So that's Beneath the Streets. And uh, I got a couple other things going on. 
You don't mind me plugging them? No, I, please, please. Okay, so uh, I have a mural painting business in New York City. It's called Intelligent Graffiti. Cool. So if you go to at Intelligent Graffiti, you could see any of my mural work if you need a mural. And then uh, most recently, I've just launched a company with a business partner of mine. Were you familiar with the fatheads? Mm -hmm. Yes. So these are like a custom graffiti fatheads where people can That's awesome. order a custom uh, graffiti wall decal and uh, we produce it for them on the iPad and then ship it out to them anywhere in, anywhere in the world. And Are these affordable? Because I swear to God, that is a great gift. Very, idea. very affordable. And yeah, that's really uh, cool. vinyl graph. So V-I-N-Y-L graph. And it's at Vinyl Graph on Instagram or VinylGraph.com. Really cool. I got to check that out because yeah. every year I, try, I, I like kind of set the bar high for what I get my siblings. Mm -hmm. One year I did get uh, my brother a customized fat. Oh, look. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Whoa, Whoa so that's it, fucking sick for So next week I'll drop one off with you guys. Oh, my you know, God. So. That would be amazing. For dude. sure. That's, for sure. That, these look. These look. So fucking so the cool. person so gra graph is G R A F F exactly vinyl graph so they they design it on the computer here Very they pick cool. the colors this just says Ryan this is a what rock. a great business and then uh, and then we produce it by hand and print it off and ship it in three days so oh, yeah. it's a genius are you, you going to be on like Shark Tank or something uh, in about a year that's the plan okay get it on Shark Tank I mean cool. why so. not are, are these are these comparable great. to Fathead in price. Uh, yeah, they're in the same price bracket as okay. a fatted, and they're custom. So very cool. That's that's something I definitely need to look into because that's that's fucking awesome. Yeah, thank dope. you. Um, Anything else? No, that's all. But thank you for having me on the show. That's really no, cool. No, thank you, you know? for coming, man. Yeah, uh, Freddie, what do you got? Hey, man, guys, look, follow me on all social media, Freddie B T V. There's no why in my name's Freddie B T V, guys. And look, like we say every week, I didn't say it. Um, I don't know. Well, I, look, guys, look, listen. Tell three people subscribe, like, right? He'll never get it right. <laughs> tell three people you love. Tell three people you hate. Remember to subscribe, like, and rate. That still was wrong. But <laughs> I, see, I see. I see. Kim oh. Like Kim, Kim just said, he never gets it right. I did got it wrong, and she was like, "You never get it right." Damn you, Kim. You want to you want to say it right for him? Uh, no. Okay. What do you got? <laughs> What do you got? Uh, follow me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon on Instagram at Kim Congdon. Check out Stone Science TV, youtube.com slash Stone Science. Also check out my other podcast, Broad Topics. That's Topics with an X. That's on iTunes, Google Play, YouTube, anywhere you find um, podcasts. Uh, sub subscribe to those. And uh, I say this every week. We do this show for free. We love it. We love you guys. All you have to do is give us a rate or review, share it, subscribe, any of those. It's free for you. It's no effort at all. It's a big help for our podcast. And we